What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Outside the Box, and we've got a brand new series here that I'm so pumped about. This is Robin Riddle. She is going to co-host with me this series, and are you excited about it? I am so excited about this. Like, I literally can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait to see where this goes. This is episode yeah. one of hopefully, you know, 5,602. Absolutely. Because there are <laughs> that many things that we need to explain, which leads me to what the title of this series is. This is Explain This, everybody. And our first topic is a hot one. It is. It's a really, really hot topic, especially within our offices. So, Robin, I'm going to go ahead and ask you, thyroid, explain this. Thyroid. So, starts out with how to test thyroid. Um, we test a little bit different than what a primary care or even an endocrinologist would test. We're a lot more in depth in the integrative world. So, when we're looking at labs, we're pulling a TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, a free T3, a free T4, and a reverse T3, which is super important. And if we think it might be an autoimmune picture, we're pulling antibodies as well. We're getting a very comprehensive look. Explain to me antibodies. I got the other the other three. Yeah. <laughs> What's the antibodies part? Antibodies are looking for the autoimmune. So the, the body itself is attacking your thyroid. And if it's autoimmune, which is Hashimoto's, you treat it a little bit differently because you're trying to calm the immune system down and make it stop attacking the thyroid. So what is the, I, I've heard of Hashimoto's, mm -hmm. what is the other one? There's two different types of thyroid issues, am I right? So there's hypo, which is too low, and hyper, which is too high. Um, the autoimmune version of hypo is Hashimoto, and the autoimmune version of hyper is Graves' disease. So we're primarily treating hypothyroid. Anything hyper too high is typically having to go to an endocrinologist for that. So one thing I know about thyroid is that it's often um, not it's often misdiagnosed. Correct. Or just not diagnosed. Or not diagnosed. Right. So tell me, <laughs> what are some things that people can look for um, in terms of whether or not they might have a thyroid issue? So for hypo, which is the thyroid function is low, everything slows down. So you're looking at uh, fatigue, like you just feel sluggish, you're tired, um, constipation, dry skin, dry hair, dry nails, losing hair, especially, you know, women up through here start to lose hair, everything you just, you're, you're just like a snail, like you're just slow, you're sluggish, nothing feels good. Um, the problem with the conventional way to look at and treat the thyroid is they look within normal ranges. I hate the word normal. I use the word optimal all the time. Um, we look at optimal ranges. So a normal range, um, looking at your TSH is like 0.4 to 4.5. It's a big range. Um, I find that if people's TSH is over two, pushing towards three, and especially any higher than that, they're going to have every hypothyroid symptom, but they're not going to be diagnosed by their regular doctor. And that happens so often. So often. <laughs> <laughs> so every time that somebody comes to me and they've got these sort of complaints, they're like, well, my, my doctor looked at my thyroid and he said it was normal. Like, nope, we're doing it all again because there's so many things within that that can fluctuate. Now, real quickly, what are some treatments? What are some options out there for people who might be... Uh, they might relate to some yeah. of those symptoms. So a new diagnosis of hypothyroidism, I'm starting anybody on a NDT, which is a natural desiccated thyroid. Um, so Armour Thyroid, Nature Thyroid, NP Thyroid, there's a bunch of different brands that we use, but they're all the same thing. They have a natural T3 and T4 in them. That's different than conventional treatment because you go to your primary care, they're going to put you on Synthroid Levothyroxine. It's a synthetic T4. All of that relies on the body being able to actually utilize that T4. So the way the signals go, um, the anterior pituitary releases TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. TSH goes to the thyroid and demands that it makes thyroid hormone. Yeah. Thyroid produces T4 that goes out into the body, gets converted into T3. Everything's great. The body's happy. Um, things can get hinked up a lot of places along the way. So replacement with just levothyroxine is relying on the body being able to convert it appropriately. And a lot of people don't. We've talked about gut health a lot. Um, if your gut is not in good shape, you're not going to convert that T4 appropriately. And it can actually, instead of turning into T3, it can turn into reverse T3. 
Reverse T3 is super important and is something that a lot of people don't measure. If your reverse T3 is elevated, you will have every symptom of hypothyroidism, but all the rest of your labs will look normal. So you have to look at reverse T3 as well. And the ratio of reverse T3 to T3. Um, if you're not converting appropriately, you're getting that high reverse T3. It clogs up all the good receptor sites that T3 is supposed to signal and it, it blocks them. So T3 can't get there, but you're not getting any beneficial effects from it. So if you put me on one of these treatments, how long can I expect to stay on it? Is it going to be forever? What, what's, what's that? It really depends on what the cause for the hypothyroidism is. Um, if you've got major gut issues going on, the gut 100% affects the thyroid. Adrenal issues are going to affect the thyroid. So if I'm starting you on it, but digging for a root cause while we're doing it, I definitely have some people that I've been able to get them off of thyroid medicine by healing the underlying cause. Got it. For other people, it is a lifetime thing. Um, it's a pill that you take every morning on an empty stomach 30 minutes um, before you have any food or water or anything like that. And it there's such an improvement in the quality of life with it sure. that most people don't mind. Um, so, yeah, something that you're looking at typically long term, but absolutely can be life changing. Well, Robin, you just explained thyroid. <laughs> I really appreciate this. Of course. And this has been, guys, the first episode of Explain This with Robin. I am so excited about this series. I hope you guys tune in every single week for it. Robin, I certainly appreciate you. And Absolutely. we'll see you next time. Sounds good. Rock on. Um, Thank you, guys. Don't go away.